everyone welcome to another video if you're new here welcome my name is Irit and on my channel I share my love and obsession with yarn and crochet and a little bit of knitting but it's mostly crochet if you enjoyed this video I would love for you to subscribe give it a like leave me a comment I'm so excited that I've reached a thousand subscribers this is really I have another channel if you're not familiar which is kind of my main channel where I share uh, where I share my watercolor and mixed media adventures. Those are that's like my day job. Uh, I paint. A year ago, I got into crochet, and I really, really loved everything about it. The process, how relaxing it was, just being able to kind of uh, relieve stress with crocheting and I can't imagine now just like sitting in front of the TV not like doing anything with my hands. As the obsession kind of sank in and the yarn <laughs> uh, amounts grew, I decided to start just this channel just to be a part of the community and share my adventures. Uh, I think sometimes it can be a little bit challenging to find someone that has a similar aesthetic to yours and there are so many patterns out there uh, so there's probably a little bit of everything but I don't know for me I struggle to find things that kind of look the way I want them to look and uh, yeah so hopefully you know if my kind of color choices resonate with you or the patterns that I use then I hope it inspires you and kind of helps you find your place in the crochet world and yeah, so today I have a few things to talk about. So some channels do giveaways. I I admit I'm not a big fan. I don't think I've... I hardly ever, ever, ever enter giveaways. And yeah, I really appreciate people that do that. But I thought we could do a cal together. And that's what I'm going to do. So I've already decided. I made the decision today on which yarn I was going to use. And I ordered it and I want to tell you about it. So if you want to participate in the Cal, it's going to start in January, sometime probably middle of January because there's school vacation. I won't really have time to dedicate uh, to this until middle of January. So that means that, you know, you have time to get your supplies ready and it's going to be a sweater. It's going to be based on my two become one sweater pattern and I'm going to show you like step by step how to do this so there's going to be videos every probably every week I think I'll just like upload them every week and then at the end when we're done with the cal I'll also just post one video with everything so you know for people that joining us in the future uh, that you just have it uh, in one video I think it might be a bit too long but we'll see then we'll have a playlist so just uh, easy access and this is I think a great sweater as like a first sweater if you have been kind of scared or intimidated by making sweaters I think you will find this one the pattern is extremely it's not only user-friendly but I pretty much guarantee <laughs> that you will make <laughs> a sweater that fits you because the way that it is made you can try the sweater from like the very first stages so there's no guessing here and I love that I've made several uh, sweaters and like tops before I created this uh, pattern and there was always like that element of surprise even if I you know measured myself measured the sweater did the gauge like did the swatching like did all the things yeah it, it didn't necessarily turn out the way that I had hoped and yeah so the cal is going to be on my channel but I will also offer like a you know pdf printable printed print friendly uh, version no ads like all those things uh, on my website um, and yeah that will cost I guess a few dollars I haven't really decided but 
kind of like a, a regular pattern cost so I don't know somewhere between six and nine dollars somewhere there and yeah and the video tutorials really show you every step of the way so after much much consideration my problem was that I didn't want I wasn't sure which yarn to choose and so I decided I'm going to show you the yarn I chose and I'm going to explain it but I'm not going to do this with this colorway because this is so boring <laughs> no offense to anyone who's like super excited about using these colors I totally get it um you know that but that's that's like the thing okay so this yarn is called Cookie and it's by a brand called Gerbo, I want to say. And it is, this colorway is 46206. Uh, I don't know what it's called and I don't know if it's still available, like this particular colorway, I'm not sure. I don't think it's very exciting, <laughs> so I mean it is, it's kind of you know pretty much a classic and everything it's just like shades of gray but yeah so let me tell you about it this is pure acrylic yarn and you get 200 grams gives you 600 meters so I am hoping that two um, skeins or two cakes will be enough for the entire sweater and mine is a size medium and I think it should be enough so if you're doing a larger size I would I would get three just in case um, but I'll tell you why I decided to choose this yarn first of all it has a good weight I wanted I wanted a, a four weight yarn because it just goes faster it's kind of motivating we are in the middle of winter so I feel it's okay it's a it's a legitimate choice uh, unless you're in the southern hemisphere and then I apologize <laughs> that you're in the middle of summer but you can choose maybe like a cotton uh, yarn so this one it's classified on the Hobie website as a four weight yarn it actually looks kind of three-ish to me but with the particular stitch that I'm using in the pattern you can use larger um, hooks and yeah, so they recommend a five millimeter, four and a half to five millimeter hook, but uh, I'm going to like swatch it and kind of show you. I like the garment, like my sweaters, I like them to have a nice drape if possible. It's not always so easy with acrylic to get a nice drape because I also like closed fabrics, like closed stitches. So I will do the work for you. But what I like about this, first of all, it is kind of this uh, self-striping yarn and you can't see it so much in this uh, colorway but if you hop on over to the Hobie website they have some really really beautiful ones and I will put on the screen now the the one that I chose for um, for the for my sweater and I just think it's really fun and motivating to use yarn that changes color uh, because you know you kind of feel like you're doing something and it keeps things interesting and I personally also love the look of it I just find working on a sweater in just like one color for me it gets boring and yeah I really really love the idea of using this kind of color changing so I'll show you actually okay so the great thing about this is first of all you can order um, this from Hobie and if you I will try to upload this video today because at least I'm in Austria and I shop at Hobie Germany and I think they only ship out things maybe twice a week but I think Tuesday so like tomorrow I'm recording this on Monday is the day that they ship all their orders so I always try to order either on the weekend or on Monday and then I know my order ships on Tuesday and I'm not sure how it's gonna be this week because of Christmas but on a normal week I get my order on Saturday which is great it's like the fastest shipping um, that I personally get from a yarn shop and yeah so if you want to order they have these now on sale and if you order four 
they are, at least in the German uh, site, they are 10 euros uh, a cake, which is a really good price because you get a lot of yarn here. So I think I'm pretty sure that I can use two cakes for my entire sweater. That means I'm making a sweater for 20 euros. That to me is a good deal. Now, the other thing I love about this is that I found a YouTube review and the woman on the review, so I can't say that I tried this myself, but she said that there are basically three yarns that are almost identical. And this was one of them, the Cookie one from Hobie, which I know that uh, in Europe you can order from Hobie and in the US. And I think that's where pretty much almost all of you are from. Uh, so that's great that you can order the same yarn that I will be using and choose whatever color you want. The colors are gorgeous, really. It's, it's more of like, it's nothing like super bright, but I feel like they're very rich and lovely. Okay, so the other yarns that she said are pretty much the same as the Cookie yarn, which is a fantastic name for a, a cake, a yarn cake, right, Cookie? Uh, is the line brand Ferris Wheel. So these come in gorgeous colors. Of course, the uh, skeins are smaller, but if you're in the US, I actually can get these on Amazon Germany and have them delivered pretty fast, but they are expensive. So with import taxes and all that, I don't think, unless you really, really love the colors of like a specific, you know, colorway, I would say, okay, get this. Uh, I understand that color to me is like the number one thing but if you find uh, colors that you like in this one or probably the third one that I'm going to mention I think they are more economical but this is beautiful it feels lovely it actually feels they're both quite soft um, but yeah this one is gorgeous so this one is that's how it looks so this is Ferris Wheel from Lion Brand. I know this is super popular. It's three ounces, 85 grams, 270 yards, 247 meters, 100% acrylic. Uh, this is a four weight yarn. This seems a little bit thicker than this, but they're very, very similar. Very similar. Okay, so the one, the third one that is supposed to be incredibly similar is by Red Heart and it's called Roll With It Melange I want to say. I've never tried it, uh, I don't really have Red Heart here but if you're in the US you have it or you love it so that's another option that is supposed to be pretty much identical to these two. So I think that means that probably most of you, almost all of you can get the same yarn that I will be using. Of course, you don't have to because you really don't have to match uh, my gauge or my kind of yarn. I have made till now four sweaters with my pattern and I used a DK yarn, I used uh, chunky yarn, I used, yeah, somewhere there between three and five. I used all kinds of variations. Uh, so I wouldn't recommend doing anything like chunkier or uh, lighter. I would say stay within the realm. I think four is just like really good now for winter because you know it kind of moves and yeah so I'm really excited. Oh another thing I wanted to say about this if you have seen uh, my previous chats I shared where are you? I shared uh, this sweater that I started uh, making and this is made with Cire d'Ar jewel span yarn and I feel like not this colorway but if you take a look on the Hobie website and look at their colors I feel like it has the same vibe and this was a joy to work with I, I really find the color changes super motivating and I feel like I'm you know doing something I'm I have like I'm there's progress and so I really like how I feel these are kind of similar in the experience uh, also if you're trying to locate that jewel span yarn which is gorgeous i think today i'm supposed to get the second skein i also discovered the dmc i don't know who makes dmc i don't know which like where it's from i, I want to say it's european but i'm not sure so dmc has a yarn called pirouette pirouette 
pirouette. Pirouette, <laughs> I guess it's, it's probably French, right? Ballet terms. Um, and it's identical, identical, identical to uh, Jewel Spun. I looked at the colors, they seem to be identical. My guess it's the, they probably have the same kind of parent company and just have the same yarn under different brands because it looks identical. The colorways are identical, all the details, you know, the meters, the um, the weight, everything is identical. And yeah, so I am excited about that because the DMC for me personally, uh, I can get it in an Austrian online shop and the Jewel Spun I can only order from Amazon UK or from Lovecrafts, which I think are out of almost like all the colors or like half the colors. So. So yeah, that was another fun discovery, but I really enjoyed working with it. And so I thought that this could give us kind of that similar experience, but is more um, widely available and easier to get. So that is that, the Cal, it's going to happen. Really excited about that. Let me show you some progress on my uh, project. So this is the only, yeah, the only knitting project I have, I finished this is this is going to be like the left side of the cardigan and I'm working on the other side colors are making me so happy right it's so good <laughs> um, yeah so I'll probably finish this I guess this week and then I'll have to um, stitch them I did discover since this is the first this is the first um, garment that I've knitted in the last 10 years I did discover that I was doing my knit stitches turned and yeah so the back the back piece of the cardigan is kind of wonky because the stitches are turned but I figured it out somewhere halfway here so I think it'll be okay you can just you can see it because I don't know if the fabric feels I don't think the the fabric feels differently but I can see it that I have that like the the rows are not symmetrical like the knit rows and the purl rows are not uh, symmetrical so you can really you can really see the the difference so they were turned but now I figured it out and now I'm good and yeah, so really excited to continue this and finish this. I think it'll be such a fun cardigan. I'll definitely, uh, I'll just show you the pattern again. It's the Venus cardigan from the Knit Edit. Is that in focus? I hope so. The Venus cardigan by the Knit Edit. And I'm definitely going to do the sleeves and the ribbing with um, I'll probably match, you know, the, I'll probably also use three strands of DK yarn and I'm thinking I'll do two strands of this like deep uh, pink that I have here and then maybe one strand in a similar color. So maybe like a shade of pink or yellow or something like that just for like, just to give it a little bit dimension. But I don't want to mess with the colors. I don't want to do the sleeves also kind of rainbow. I think it's a bit much and I think it'll actually help the the front pieces really pop. So that's my plan, which will be easier because you don't have to change colors all the time. So that's progress on that. Then the other one, which is it's it is exciting, but yeah, the fit is not it's not it's not perfect um, for my next attempt if I try to do something similar I will make some changes but I've never made like a granny square garment so I'm kind of learning as I go and I'm not using a pattern so this is how it's looking and it fits kind of nicely the problem is that here the like the neckline is just a little bit too narrow so yeah it kind of pulls a bit to the back um, next time I just I guess I should have added here maybe like a couple more rows uh, in the back in the middle and then it would have just like fit better but uh, yeah I stitched it all together I really like the the stitch is very uh, clean looking I like that and 
now I'm doing the sleeves and I decided to do the sleeves with the same stitch that I'm using for my uh, to become one sweater I just love the look of it uh, it doesn't have that kind of linear you know double crochet or yeah that look uh, it looks more I don't know just I mean here I just started a little bit of the sleeve but I'm going to frog it because I used the same hook size like I used on the granny square and with this stitch you can go up a hook size um, and just it still it will still look closed but it'll have a bit more drape and yeah so this is with a, a number five a five millimeter hook and it's a little bit tight I'm pretty sure I can go to six maybe even more so I'm going to frog this and start over with uh, a bigger a larger hook and yeah I did the ribbing at the bottom and then <laughs> I thought I ran out of this color and then I discovered I had another skein hidden hidden in my stash so yeah but I didn't want to use it on the ribbing because I want to use it for the sleeves and I'm hoping that the one skein will be enough for both sleeves uh, because it's oversized I don't need like a lot you know since it's like till here I just need <laughs> I need it to last me for this section and I think it'll be okay because I also checked the one shop that I can find this kind of yarn they are out of this color so I really need it to uh, last me for the for both sleeves and then the ribbing I just did uh, on the bottom I did like two rows with this um, kind of beigey color and then I added a yellow row just because I didn't want to use a lot of the beige and then here I did yellow and then added a little bit of orange sorry if this is like blown out okay there we go so yeah so that's the middle I don't know if I'll add a couple more rows maybe I will and then I can kind of I don't know fold over the ribbing um, I probably add a couple of buttons just to make it look like a cardigan even though I don't feel like necessarily I need the buttons uh, I don't know I'll first I'll first do the sleeves and do the cuffs and then I'll see what needs to be adjusted but yeah this is I love the colors it feels great and uh, I think maybe I should also crochet uh, like a tank top with whatever I have left uh, from these colors maybe just do like a simple like working from the side you know do the increases do the neckline decreases bottom and then um, yeah do that and then maybe I'll have some stripes you know just like use up <laughs> the yarn I have left but uh, I think I think this will be cute the colors do make me happy so that's that's always a must started on the weekend this thing this is a pattern from the recent inside crochet magazine and it's basically kind of you know one of these like neck warmers that you can that has also like a piece here um and you know here in in our weather in austria it's really really nice because everywhere like indoors it's very very heated like i would say way too much like way too hot so basically you just need like a really warm coat if it's super cold outside then you know scarf hat all those things and then when you go inside you have to like immediately take everything off because it's usually very hot which doesn't make sense to me but it is what it is so i thought this was be would be kind of useful and i have a pack of this chunky yarn from paintbox this is simply chunky from paintbox and color is 343 I think it's called raspberry 343 so this is how it's looking uh, you basically start with the kind of ribbing and then here in the front there is this uh, like a Celtic pattern it's basically some sort of like cable texture pattern so I kind of did that for a bit and um, yeah, I think it'll be nice to have um, I probably wouldn't have chosen this color for like an accessory um, Probably 
they have in the magazine is actually a really beautiful kind of mustard yellow that's really pretty i probably would have gone with like a beige something but i had this on hand and i thought it would be a good project um, to use some of it this is now the second uh, skein i'll probably need one more yeah this was like fun to begin with uh but then i don't know how i feel about <laughs> this whole thing yeah i don't know uh, I, I, it'll probably look nice at the end, but it is quite chunky, so I don't know. I really enjoyed the beginning. <laughs> Maybe I should just look for a pattern that it doesn't have like anything fancy, because I do feel like I need a little bit help with the, um, you know, the increases, although I think very soon uh, it's going, I'm going to separate it to front and back. So I guess pretty much most of the like shaping is done. I don't know. It's a cute pattern. It's a cute project. Um, so that's what I did on the weekend, like some of the weekend. Now, what I want to start, I'm currently not really working on any blankets except the uh, Secret Yarnery Cal, which I admit I kind of don't want to deal with it right now. <laughs> I need to figure out a super easy, lazy way to connect all the squares and yeah i don't know i don't know if i have it in me <laughs> or i should just like give up and just do what krista <laughs> did but yeah what i want to do is i want to do another uh kind of scraps blanket uh kind of targeting some of the yarn that i feel is weighing on me in my stash and i want to use it up for something uh, so i have this huge mega ball uh aaron yarn from we love yarn uh, this is also from Hobie, and I ordered this last year. I wanted to do kind of a comparison of like acrylic Aran yarns. And I have another box full of them, and I did some swatches, and kind of I don't know. Then winter ended, and I was I didn't feel motivated <laughs> to review <laughs> Aran acrylic yarns anymore. But um, yeah, so this one was one of the skeins I ordered to try different kinds of acrylic yarns in Aran weight, four weight, worsted weight yarn and it's just like I don't see myself wearing this color, this particular pink is not really giving me the feels it kind of looks actually better on screen than it does in real life I feel on screen it looks a little bit more like a Barbie pink in real life it's just, I don't know, it's, it's it's not giving me the feels, but I think if I incorporated it into a blanket like I did with my scrap blanket, I have a tutorial on my channel, uh, I think, you know, it would be okay. So I want to pair with it um, some of the scraps, probably some of these other acrylic Aran, you know, one-off skeins that I bought for the uh, review that never happened, that, that might happen. Uh, so at some point I want to use some of those. I also want to use this yarn. This is Puzzle Baby from Ice Yarns and look I like the colors but the yarn feels to me really cheap. I don't really like... I don't know something about it doesn't speak to me and maybe worked up I will feel differently I don't know it's not something I think maybe I should try making like a scarf out of it or something but I kind of just want to use these two and then maybe some I have a bunch of these um, like this is also from ice yarn yeah this is like a sale a sale yarn they had last winter it's just like a it's actually really nice because it doesn't it looks like it has a little bit of wool in it to me and it's not wound super tightly so it just has like a little bit of fluff to it and I really like it but I have a lot of it and I don't see myself making a sweater with it so I want to use it up so I want to use this I want to use this and the white and then probably insert another thread so maybe like all of those other um, skeins I mentioned or I can start with those. I'll show you just like a few. So you see, I just have like a bunch of these here in a box where I made the swatches. 
and kind of wrote down my experiences. These have like very, very common um, options that you probably know. Uh, we have some from Karen, like the Simply Soft, Red Heart. I have King Cole. Um, I have Lion Brand, Heartfelt, Heartfelt? Heartland, Stylecraft. So I just wanted to give them a go and I don't think I'll use them for, like I don't have a project in mind for them. So I think a scrap blanket it's really the way to go. Um, so maybe I'll start with like a combo of like these three, like white, and then mostly these are just like one color. And the Puzzle Baby, maybe do a few skeins like that. Then for the kind of body, the middle of the blanket, go to this one use it up and then add a few more skeins so that I'll have kind of stripes on both sides of the blanket. That's what I'm thinking. I just have to try. I want to do the same stitch I did for my other scrap blanket. Worked super well for me. I love the way that it looks and it's actually one of the blankets that the people in my house seem to love. Um, so I'll do that. I just have to check that one I did with two strands and this one I want to do with three. So I just have to play a bit with the hook size. But that's what I want to do. Um, just to use up some yarn and make something that I know I will enjoy making and people will enjoy using. Huh. That was a lot of talking. And yeah, I think that's all I have planned. Now, I have that order from Hobie that will probably arrive next week at some point, I'm guessing, because of Christmas. And I also did some damage on the Lion Brand website. I saw that they had a sale. Now that is the American website. And I picked out, like I was very, very specific. I just picked out some Ferris wheel and some mandala yarn in colorways that I absolutely love and I can't really get here. Uh, or I can get here, but it costs a lot. So they had a really fantastic sale so that with the shipping, which was close to the price of the yarn and customs that I will for sure have to pay, which is another 20%, I still think for me personally, because color is so important to me, uh, I think it'll still be worth it. So I don't know when that will get to me. It comes from the US, it's the holidays, still a pandemic, all the things, you know, hopefully at some point I'll get it, but Really, really excited about the colors I chose. And of course, once I'll get it, I'll show it to you. Um, yeah, so let me know in the comments if you're going to join the Cal, how you feel about crocheting a sweater, if it's something you're scared of. Uh, don't be, because we can do it <laughs> together. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I think that is everything. That was a lot of talking. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you again in another one. I'm not sure when, because of the holidays, kids vacation, I'm not sure why, when I'll try to post maybe like, um, you know, pictures on my community tab, but with videos, we'll see, we'll see how it goes. So I wish you happy holidays, happy new year, uh, only good health to you and your loved ones, and thanks for watching, have a great day, bye bye.